Welcome to my channel again and I'll be showing you step by step on how to create a snoot effect on your backdrop. So at the end of this video you should be able to transform boring or plain studio background to something creative. So what's an optical snoot? These are tools used by photographers to control and shape light to create artistic effect in their images by highlighting particular regions. Now this video is just a tip on how to achieve similar effect with just Photoshop. If you watch this video to the end, kindly comment I did as I will drop the link to download the image I used. First off, we'll need an image on a plain background, just like this. After you put in your image and the effect, which is this, I'm going to put on a download link. We'll come back here and we're going to like expand the background a little bit. So our subjects will be in the middle. So we're just going to click on ratio 4, 5 and we're going to put an image at the middle and just expand the background so we can have enough space in the background. We're going to click, you can either use generate expand or maybe content away for you, depends on the Photoshop version you're using. But for this video I'm using generative expand. So we're just going to click OK. Okay, so after that, we're going to merge our image and then we're going to crop the image from the background. So we're going to duplicate, and go to select and select subject. Now we'll right click and select inverse. And now we're going to click Ctrl X or Command X and C Command V to paste back. Now we have an extra layer. I'm going to drag this and put it behind. So now we're going to go to our effects panel right here and we're going to select the effect we want to put in the background of that image. So for that image, we're going to use this effect for that image. We're just going to select the particular effect we want to use and copy it from this um, image itself and click Ctrl C or Command C. To copy and we're going to go back to our image and control v to paste back so right here our image is behind the subject so i'm going to expand just like this until it fills up um, the background so just like this, i'm going to click ok so now we're going to go down to the layer blending mode and we're going to select screen and just like this, we have our effect because if you zoom in, you can see that uh, the pixels are not so detailed. So you might want to go to filter and go to blur and Gaussian blur. And we're gonna we're gonna reduce the radius to like um, to like fifteen or twenty. So it has this a little bit blur effect at the background. And we're just gonna click OK. And just like this, we have an effect right behind our subject. So we just turn the image from this to this. Yeah. So we're going to try the same pattern for another image in another background. And let's see how it looks like. So we're going to go here. And now uh, we're going to expand the background just like we did. We're going to, we're going to expand it to, or we're going to crop it to ratio 4, 5. And we're just going to click OK. And we're going to crop our subject from the background. So we're going to duplicate Ctrl J. Go to select subject. And now we're going to right click and select inverse. Now Command X and Command V to copy and paste. And we're going to drag this layer behind. And then we'll go back to the effect and select the effect we would like to use we're going to use our market tool to crop it we're going to click co command c to copy we're going to go to our image and command v to paste so right here we we'll see our effect and now we're going to expand to the way we want it just like this and we're going to click ok we're going to go to the blending mode and change blending mode to screen and as you can see now we're going to reduce the opacity a little bit because we want it to look as real as possible. And now we're also going to add some blur. So it's going to have some, some realness to it. 
so we're gonna add some more blood to this we're gonna set the radius to like uh 60 and as you can see it's looking all faded but still showing perfectly well on the image and now we're going to try one more image and what we're going to do we're going to put the effect on a white background <clears throat> so now let's go for this image right here you can see it's a white background let's see how we're going to fit in those effects on this background so now let's go back let's go to our image now we're going to <clears throat> we're going to um, select our subject i think this image already cropped to 4 ratio 5 so we're going to go to select i'm going to click on subject but before we do that we're going to duplicate and go to select subject now we're going to right click and select inverse then just ctrl c ctrl v and now we're going to bring the layer down now we'll go back we'll go back to our effect and choose any particular effect we wish to use for that image i like to use this effect here it's like a window blind setting and we're going to click command c to copy we're going to go back to our image and just command v paste now we're going to expand this effect like this over the background and we're going to click ok now we'll also change this blending mode to screen as you can see it's already well blended now we're also going to reduce the opacity a little bit to like 50 and we're going to filter and add some blur to it so it's going to look more real just like this and we'll click ok and that's that now note i recommend doing your retouching and color grading first before doing this on your images so you can adjust to your taste yeah so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video